At Trinity Health Livonia, the 3M 6000 series half facepiece respirator is provided to employees for use when in contact with airborne isolation patients and patients that are undergoing aerosolizing procedures. This video will provide necessary information regarding this piece of equipment. This includes donning, doffing, cleaning, basic inspection, and storage of the mask. In this video, you will also be prompted to follow along with an in-depth safety inspection of your respirator to ensure that it is still in good working order prior to your annual fit test. The 3M 6000 series respirator will protect the wearer from airborne contaminants, but a proper fit is necessary to ensure the wearer's protection. For this reason, you must complete a fit test using the respirator annually. At Trinity Health Livonia, at the time of annual fit testing, filters will be distributed to staff. Enclosed filters can be used for up to one year, but may need to be replaced sooner if the wearer experiences difficulty inhaling through the device, or if the filter becomes soiled and is unable to be cleaned, or if the filter is damaged or becomes wet through cleaning or other means. Current recommendations and practices regarding PPE are frequently changing. Always reference the CDC for the most up-to-date recommendations. At this time, you will be expected to follow along with the video to complete an inspection of your respirator. Each step of the inspection will be explained, and time will be provided between steps to allow you to inspect your device. Begin by checking the face piece for cracks or tears. Pay special attention to the elastomeric rubber that makes contact with your skin. Ensure that this material is not damaged or distorted. Complete this inspection now. Next, examine the inhalation valves for signs of distortion, cracking, or tearing. You can visualize these valves by pulling the elastomeric material down and away from the mask. Each valve should be in place, without any cracks, creases, or wrinkles. Inspect your valves now. Inspect the head straps and ensure the harness is intact without cracks, and that the straps maintain their elasticity. Inspect your straps now. Inspect all other plastic parts for cracking or fatigue. Pay special attention to the orange ring located around the filter port. Ensure that it is present on both sides and intact. Complete this step now. Finally, remove the exhalation valve cover on the front of the mask. To do this, first separate the upper tabs from the body of the mask. They are connected at two points. Gently pull up on each tab to release the connection. Then grasp one of the exhalation valve cover tabs and with steady pressure, pull it off of the respirator mask. Separating this piece requires a strong pull. With the cover removed, you will see another valve. This is the exhalation valve. Ensure that it is intact without any tears, creases, or wrinkles. Reapply the valve cover to the mask by pressing the pieces together until you feel them click. Then reattach the tabs to the mask. Complete this step now. If after your inspection you have concerns about the integrity of your respirator, after completion of this video, please see a fit test facilitator about your findings. When the care of a patient requires you to wear your respirator, there are steps that should be taken before each use to ensure your safety. First, perform a safety inspection according to the product user instructions, checking for cracks, tears, holes, deformations of the mask, or missing components. Then, if your filters are not attached, you will need to connect them. On the respirator is a mark on the upper tabs of the exhalation valve cover. And on all 3M filters, there is a matching mark on the filter itself. With the enclosed filters, the mark can be seen here. Align the marks on the filter and the mask, and the filter will fit the three keyhole openings over the keyed protrusions on the mask. Twist the filter a quarter turn clockwise and it will lock into place. Attach filters to both sides of the mask. Now it is time to don the mask. First, hold the mask in position over your nose and mouth. The mask should be positioned low on the bridge of your nose for the best fit. Then, 
Pull the head harness onto the crown of your head. Do not pull it onto the back of your head. Now, connect the bottom straps behind your neck. Adjust the straps by pulling the exposed ends. These are positioned at the top front of the mask for the head harness straps and below the mask or at the back of the neck for the neck strap. With your mask in place, you will perform positive and negative pressure checks before entering the room. These will ensure you have a good seal with your mask. For the positive pressure seal check, place the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve. Cover it completely and exhale gently. The mask should start to lift off of your face. If you feel air leakage around the mask, adjust your mask and try again. To perform the negative pressure seal check, grasp the filters on both sides and compress them to block the flow of air. Then inhale gently. If the inhalation valves are blocked and you have a good seal, you should feel the mask suction to your face and no new air should enter. If you can feel air enter from around the mask, you have a bad seal. Readjust and try again. If you feel air coming in through the filters, the filters are not fully occluded and you need to adjust to apply pressure slightly differently and try again. If you have had a successful positive and negative pressure seal check, you are ready to enter the room with the protection of your respirator. If you cannot achieve a successful positive and negative pressure seal check, do not use the respirator at this time, and instead, obtain and use a papper to continue the care for this patient. When you leave the room, you will need to remove or doff your respirator. Unhook the neck straps, then grasp the head harness and pull it down and away from your head, removing the mask as you do so. Do not doff the mask by pulling the mask up over your head. This increases the likelihood of contaminating your face with any contaminants present on the mask. After removing the mask, it will need cleaned and disinfected. The respirator and enclosed filters can be cleaned using the non-bleach disinfectant wipes, the gray top wipes as they are more commonly known. Wipe each component, the face piece, interior and exterior. You can and should clean the valves with disinfectant. Wipe the head harness and wipe the casing of the filters, but do not attempt to clean inside of the filter casing as it will dampen and damage the actual filter. Then allow the respirator to air dry before storing it. Once the respirator is dry, it can be stored in the plastic bag it originally came in, or any other bag or container you wish to use. Make sure to never place your respirator in its storage area unless it has been decontaminated after use. Then keep the respirator in a temperature-controlled area, either at work or your home, but never store it in your car as the frequent extreme temperature changes can distort the mask's shape. A properly fitted mask will protect the wearer from airborne contaminants. However, there are some limitations of use that all users must be aware of. If the mask is not worn in appropriate clinical situations, donned and doffed properly, and stored properly, the respirator may not provide adequate protection to the wearer. After you receive your new filters, they should be labeled with the date, which will expire one year after the initial use. They should also have the colleague's initials on them. The filters should be replaced every year, or sooner if you notice increased difficulty with inspiration, or if the filter becomes damaged or soiled. When wearing the respirator during a sterile procedure, a procedural mask must be worn to cover the exhalation port. If you have facial hair that will interfere with the respirator's seal, or if you experience a change in body weight of 10% or greater, including pregnancy, you cannot rely on the mask to fit with the appropriate seal. Use a papper until you have been refit tested or until the facial hair is removed. Pappers are available throughout Trinity Health Livonia to all staff. They do not require fit testing and are a safe alternative if you find you ever have concerns about the integrity of your respirator or its ability to seal effectively to your face. If you have any other questions or concerns regarding your respirator, first reference the product information that you received with your respirator.